Hey everybody, Jeff Harmon from phototacopodcast.com. FLM was kind enough to send me out prototype versions of some of their new tripod legs. And so I'm going to do a quick review for you to show you kind of what these legs are all about. These are the CP38 Mark II prototype version of the legs and then the CP30 Mark II prototype version that they, they sent out to let me test. They're not dramatically different than the Mark I version. There's uh, slight differences in... Um, in the locking mechanism of the legs, as well as in the color of the uh, the, the twist locks here. But uh, other than that, they're, they're pretty close to the same thing. So it, this review is covering kind of those those elements too. The locking mechanism is different though, so that's, that's one of the key differences. Let's talk about the two versions here. The numbers, CP38 versus CP30, is the diameter of the legs. The CP38 are thicker diameter, versus the 30, which are a little thinner. And so there's weight differences as far as how sturt, how much weight the, the legs can take. They're both carbon fiber legs. And uh, the CP38 has a couple of other things that are different from the CP30. Number one is the video bowl that is here. It, it, it takes a video bowl, standard sized video bowl. So you can buy a bowl top plate that is for from any manufacturer that makes standard kind of video bowls or you can buy it from FLM. This one has the HB75 from FLM installed on it so that I could I could check it out and use it. Um, the other difference has to do with the spike situation with the feet. If you take off the rubber feet on the CP38 legs, there is a hole here for very standardized spikes to be inserted. And um, they came with spikes, I just didn't install them. Um, I haven't needed them as I did my limited testing with these legs since I've had them for a short period of time. And so that's kind of the key difference between the two. Other than that, they're the same. They're identical with the CP30. I'm going to just demonstrate a little bit more with the CP38. They're a little easier to work with as I'm in my smaller space right here. So CP30 legs, these are really sturdy. been super impressed with how sturdy um, they are. The twist lock works great. So for people who may not know twist lock, that's the kind of lock here that when you lock the segment, you do it with a twist versus a clasp lock, which I'll show you real briefly from my own enduro tripod legs. These are much less expensive tripod legs that are not intended at all to be in competition with the FLM legs. These are in a, a class way above what these really old enduro uh, AT1, AT113 legs are. But just to show you the clasp lock, that's, this is the clasp lock when they have a clasp there, and then you can extend the legs via the clasp lock. This leg is a little stiff. I probably need to clean it out. Oh, I didn't really release it all the way. So anyway, that's the difference, the clasp lock. Some people, some photographers prefer this um, just because like you can flip both clasps and, do, and stretch both out at once pretty easily really quickly and then kind of get them to, to class block together again. So some prefer this, it's what I have experience with, so I, I sort of did too, but the twist lock is perfectly fine. It's really smooth, really fast, be able to release them and fold in the segments. It does great and they hold extremely well, really well. The other advantage of twist lock that I, and, and some class block can make this pretty easy, but with the twist lock, you can untwist to, to unlock, but if you keep untwisting, the segment comes completely out really easily so you can clean it, which is a really big advantage to be able to clean and take care of your tripod, make it last longer. If you're in ocean sand, if you're in some extreme kind of conditions, it's really good to be able to clean your tripod out after you've used it. So very, very nice. Another thing that is, has, is good on these is bubble level, very common feature on a lot of tripods. It's, uh, it's totally visible even when a ball head is screwed onto the legs. So, but it's there, nice to have. Okay, the last thing that I wanted to show you was the way that the legs are locked or raised up. The tripod gets as low as four inches off the ground when fully extended. The way you do that is inside of the leg here, there's a little uh, button kind of in the back. When you push the button, the, the leg unlocks. You can expand it out all the way to be really pretty level with the ball head. And then, um, if you want to, if you don't need it to go completely out, there is one other level that kind of gets you fairly low to the ground, but not all the way. And then the last, last uh, normal kind of position that you have for the tripod legs. So really fast to be able to do that, to be able to 
hit, hit kind of the button from the back, unlock and raise it. It's really, really speedy. Works, works extremely well to be able to do that. The load bearing capacity is excellent. Um, it, it does a, a really great job. Very, very sturdy tripod legs. These prototype version of the legs are gonna be on discount if you pre-order. They're gonna be available in September 2019. So if you see this video before then, you can check a link in the description below for where you can go to pre-order them. I believe they're 385, 15% off for pre-orders. If that's not the right number, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> but I think that was right, something like that. And then it goes, there's this one, there's another one in between it and the 38. Um, as different tripod legs and sizes of the, the legs, the diameter of the legs. Very good tripod legs, super impressed with them. You certainly wouldn't make a mistake in buying these tripod legs. Um, they don't go extremely compact, so I wouldn't say they're necessarily travel tripod legs, although the CP30s um, certainly could be traveled with. They're not vastly bigger than my, in fact, they're, they're really kind of the same height and collapse the same size as my really cheapy old Enduro tripod legs. These are not made anymore. Uh, Enduro has still does sell tripod legs, but they've gone higher end market and I don't have any of the newer kind. So this, this really old version of the tripod legs I have traveled with, I have gone out on lots of outings with them. And so it totally can work of course, to be able to travel with the, uh, the FLM CP30 legs. No problem, um, they just don't fold down. It, it's not intended to be like a travel market necessarily, where travel tripod legs fold up, collapse, to be quite a bit smaller than this. But very nice uh, carbon fiber tripod legs that you certainly can't go wrong if you do buy them. These are more in the market of the range of like really right stuff. Tripod legs would be a close competitor that they are competing with and along the same lines of the quality. The build quality feels fantastic. I've only had them for about a week, so I can't tell you over time how it is they will hold up, but I know my good friend Mark Morris has had has owned FLM tripod legs for, for a long time now. He has the, the first version of them and he has loved them. They have held up really well for him. So I know, I know there's people that are having really good experiences with these tripod legs and I've been very impressed. They're, they're very, very nice tripod legs. You certainly won't be making a mistake if you, if you buy FLM CP30 or CP38 tripod legs. If you liked this review, if you liked hearing this video, I'd love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be sure to go and subscribe to Photo Taco Podcast as well. You can do that at phototacopodcast.com or wherever you find podcasts. I have a monthly show where I do a lot of talking about technical topics on photography, answering all kinds of questions, and uh, they're searchable show notes. So I have a lot of several hundred shows under my belt for that podcast episode where I've talked about almost every kind of photography topic, especially for you beginning and hobbyist photographers who don't have as much experience behind you. If you've got technical questions from camera to tripod to uh, Lightroom and post-processing and Photoshop, I have podcast episodes on all of those topics. So go over to phototacopodcast.com and check that out. Search The search bar is there. It works really great on mobile and on desktop. And you'll be able to uh, put in any question you've got. I probably have an episode that you can listen to and written show notes that you can read about uh, all kinds of topics. And uh, you don't want to miss those episodes. So go check that out. Again, that's phototacopodcast.com and I'll have a link down below in the subscription. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you'll stick around and see some more.